It so happens that today I'm speaking to you in the most radio-like way possible. You can't see me. I am battling COVID-19, <laughs> which sneakily attacked me during the hottest days of this summer. A paradox? <laughs> Indeed. Moments like this uh, remind me of my first uh, encounters with radio theater when I was sick and had plenty of time to discover various voices, sounds and stories. I'm speaking, but you can see me. I'm among you, yet I'm not. This is somewhat similar to the concept expressed in the title of my audio presentation, the great community of the separate. I will expand on this thought later in my podcast. Since my voice can't be heard in Budapest, I must mention one of my favorite radio, radio plays I heard on Polish radio, uh, the Polish version of Ciao Bambino by Peter Horvat, Hungarian uh, playwright. The protagonist of uh, the play lives uh, in the grotesque world of the 90 Uh, 60s in the Hungarian People's Republic. In one scene, the protagonist talks about creating uh, his own radio network using fishing line and a coach rail. Let's listen to a short excerpt to get in the right mood. Look nie byłem zwyczajnym dzieckiem. W wieku 10 lat napisałem moje pierwsze słuchowisko. Wstąpiłem do spółdzielni twist. Wstąpiłem razem z krową. Niechże się dowie bydle. Co to jest wspólne mienie? Wstąpiłem do spółdzielni. Co to jest wspólne mienie? Sam wykonałem urządzenie z poręczy wersalki i żyłki wędkarskiej. Jedną słuchawkę mm, wmontowałem do gitary, drugą wyprowadziłem po długim drucie na ulicę. Niewykluczone, że podłączyłem też płaską baterię, ale tego już nie pamiętam. Najważniejsze, że urządzenie działało. Ja śpiewałem w pokoju, a chłopaki stały na ulicy i słuchały. Rany, jak fajnie! Pokaż, pokaż, ja też! No dawaj, kurwa! Jejku! Chłopaki, to naprawdę działa! The Polish version of uh, the radio play was directed by Janusz Kukuła, but when did uh, the story of Polish radio plays begin? What was the first word, sound, silence or melody? It might have been a line from Warszawianka uh, by Stanislav Wyspiański. However, researchers do not agree on what the first Polish radio play was. On theory expressed by the, the best Polish historian of artistic radio Elżbieta Pleszkun Olejniczakowa suggests it was Kulik w Tarninach uh, based on uh, Popioły a Polish title uh, English title Ashes by Stefan Żeromski One thing is certain it was November 19 25. That's uh, when Polish Radio Theater, also known as the Theater of Imagination, was born. 
the history of original radio creation began in May uh, 1928. Yes, 28, with the premiere of the first work written spe specifically for radio, titled The Funeral of Kisut. This radio play was written and uh, directed by Witold Hulevich, for whom the radio play uh, represented a realm of darkness, solitude and imagination. The way Hulevich's ideas resonated with later creators is proof uh, that radio theater is a great time machine where anything can happen. The protagonist of this radio play is a blind old man who attends the funeral of the Grand Duke of Lithuania. A young girl, his guide, conveys uh, to him everything he cannot see. This girl is a symbolic figure representing the theater of imagination. Her voice brings images to live in the old man's mind. In the background, listeners uh, hear a river recorded in the landscapes of Lithuanian land. The Polish radio theater has been operating uh, under its, its uh, official name since uh, 19. Uh, 46, with Bronisław Darzyński as uh, its uh, first chief director. At that time, Polish and world classics dominated. From that period comes the oldest recorded radio play, Pan Jowialski, Mr. Jowialski, based on the drama by Alexander Fredro, directed by Alexander Zelverowicz. Let's listen to an excerpt. Look for a script. Dokon! No dokon! Ja dalej nie idę! Jeszcze tylko kilka kroków, panie kolego! Dwadzieścia, nie więcej! O! Tu, pod to drzewo. No patrz, co za boskie miejsce do spoczynku. Chlód, trawnik, strumy krzemrzący. Tak, tak, tak. Chmury, góry, księżyc, gwiazdy. Wszystko razem w twojej głowie. A dobrze mi tak bardzo dobrze. However, it was 1956 that brought about the true revival of the original creative path earlier outlined by Hulewicz. The period when Zdzisław Nardelli and Janusz Warnecki were directors of the radio theater in Poland was a time of dramatic innovation, which uh, for years shaped the Polish canon of radio world creation. On the one hand, radio attract authors who shaped the poetics of radio drama for years to come. Andrzej Mularczyk, Jerzy Janicki, Jarosław Abramow Neverly, Zbigniew Herbert, Henryk Bardijewski, Stanisław Grochowiak, Zofia Posmysz, Jerzy Krzysztoń. On the other hand, a group of radio directors emerged uh, who combined excellent technical knowledge with visionary ideas. Zbigniew Kopalko, Juliusz Owicki, Zdzisław Nardelli, Janusz Warnecki, Zofia Rakowiecka. It was in the Polish radio theater that scripts for later masterpieces of Polish cinema from the so-called Polish school 
were tested. This is where uh, Jerzy Stawiński's canal about the Warsaw uprising experience was created, which uh, became part of the Polish canon thanks to Andrzej Wajda's film adaptation. Also, the passenger from cabin uh, 45 by uh, Zofia Posmysz, which we remember uh, thanks to Andrzej Munk's film, was born here as well. And Andrzej Mularczyk's holiday, which later became the cult uh, comedy Samiswoj, telling the story of Paul's resettlement uh, from the eastern territories to the west of the country, also originated here. At this point, I would like to expand on what I expressed in the title of my talk. The great community of the separate refers to the very essence of listening to the radio, both in the past and today, but in the context of Polish history, it also has a compensatory, therapeutic dimension. The radio built a communal myth and uh, focuses on stories when the trauma of war was uh, elevated in the scripts by introducing antagonistic characters who often became brothers, friends, and everyone needed each other. I would like to briefly focus on Zbigniew Kopalko. He made a statement that uh, shaped the form of many works recorded on Polish radio during the past episode after 1956. Kopalko said, the world in radio must sing and the music must speak. At this point, I would like to present an excerpt from the radio adaptation of, of uh, Franz Kafka's The Trail, where at a tragic moment for the protagonist, Józef, Kafka, Józef K., the melody of La Titina, known uh, more widely from the 1936 film starring Charlie Chaplin appears. The protagonist's hopeless situation, uh, condemned uh, for inexplicable reasons, is further highlighted by a son with children playing a counting game. The children sing, let him lose the tray, lose, or give him a postponement, and a due rica faca, let him die at last, let him die at last. Pominimy więc rzeczywiste uniewinnienie. Pan wspominał o dwóch innych możliwościach. Tak. Pozorne uwolnienie i przewleczenie. How terrifying this uh, sound is even now when we listen to it nearly 70 years after the radio play's premiere. Since 1956, a unit has been operating at Polish radio that represents a unique phenomenon on a European scale in terms 
of formal exploration in artistic radio. I am thinking of the experimental studio of Polish radio. Among those uh, who contributed to the studio, Eugeniusz Rudnik stands out, who was able to find new meanings in sounds, reverse them, uh, filter them. Today, uh, these efforts are particularly appreciated by, because uh, he did uh, this in a time when work was done on magnetic tapes. I would like to recall a short uh, excerpt from the sound piece Breakfast on the grass in the Lascaux cave. Rudnik captures the reality of the birth of the word uh, minds the still animal order of the world. In 1974, the first quadraphonic radio play was produced in Poland. I thought uh, it was uh, Ireneusz Radyński who most fully anticipated the idea of being inside the sound. I'm thinking of uh, the radio play uh, Quadrifoni from 19. Uh, 71. It was not until 1974 that Jady, directed by Zdzisław Nardeli, became the first work to use the effect uh, of four speakers. 35 years later, Andrzej Brzoska, engineer of uh, theater, uh, Polish uh, radio, returned to the idea using the Prologic 2 format, receivable via home theater. The artistic culmination of Brzoska's achievements in the Prologic 2 system was Andy by Krzysztof Czeczot, which won the Pre-Europa Award in 2014. Za chwilę zostanie nadane słuchowisko w systemie dźwięku przestrzennego Dolby Prologic 2. Posiadaczy kin domowych prosimy o włączenie dekodera Prologic 2. Odbiór dla pozostałych słuchaczy bez zmian. Głośnik lewy, głośnik centralny, głośnik prawy, tylny lewy, tylny prawy. Idę. Lepiej posieć i pomilcz. Teraz mi to mówisz, kiedy wszystko zaczęło się układać? Co ty chrzanisz? Odwal się. Poczułem się urażę. Przepraszam, poniosło mnie. Nie każ mi siedzieć w tej ciszy. Nie chcę siedzieć w ciszy. Powiedz coś. D dobrze, że zapaliłeś. Bardzo dobrze. Bo zrobiłeś się tak trochę strasznie. Nie rób mi tego następnym razem, dobrze? Słyszysz? Tak. Świetnie. I co teraz? Nie wiem. In the excerpt uh, we just heard uh, actors who normally could not have met were brought together. One of them was Roman Wilhelmi, who had been dead uh, for over 30 years, and the other was Adam Voronovich. The prologic system allowed better placement of uh, archival voices in space, making this uh, dialogue more credible. Uh, surround format has uh, evolved into binaural, where spatial auditory exper experiences are now possible thanks to uh, stereo headphones. As an example, I'll mention my uh, 2019 radio play, where we tried in the studio 
to recreate a mountain ambient combined with mysterious voices heard by young characters traveling along a mountain trail. The binaural system will likely become more popular than uh, Prologic 2 for the simple reason that it only requires headphones, which are already widely used today for listening to music in various settings. Były więc noce, w których życia więc noce, pies, pies, czarny pies, wyłoniony z wody, wrócił więc pies, jak wraca noc, by piec, i obracać się we mnie. Coś mówiłeś? Słabo słyszę. Co to, Jurek? A new tone in Polish radio plays emerged after 1989. This had a symbolic dimension. The whole Russian circus left. But the billionaires and lions state, says the protagonist of Andrzej Mularczyk's radio play, a two-time pre-Italia laureate for the radio plays from the uh, depths of waters and the, the circus left the lions state. Janusz Kukuła took uh, the helm of Polish radio theater and brought it uh, in many creators previously associated with film and theater, including uh, Anna wieczór bluszcz Janusz Zaorski, Dariusz Błaszczyk, Piotr Łazarkiewicz, Krzysztof Czeczot. Outstanding young musicians uh, appeared returning to the idea of creating soundscapes since uh, 21. The two theaters festival has been organized uh, summarizing the most important radio achievements of the year and awarding the best radio plays creators. Andrzej Mularczyk called radio theater the great community of the separate. In these three words, uh, this outstanding radio figure remind, uh, reminded us that the strength of radio theater lies in the immense solitude in the face of sounds and the boundless space where we are so far and so close to each other at the same time. The new history of radio plays will be shaped by uh, dispersed media and titles. I'm thinking of uh, the development of podcast and streaming content in Poland. Audioteka and Storytel are thriving. However, I'm not sure if these commercial strategies will be able to carry the concept of original radio creation. Fair war, I believe that the institution of the Polish radio theater remains a guarantor of creative freedom in radio, in radio dramaturgy and the sometimes risky but necessary attempts to expand spatial experiences. I'll end these brief reflections here. In, it is uh, impossible to touch off on the entire spectrum of, of phenomena in the history of radio theater in Poland. However, I'm glad that I can speak to you at last in this way, in some way, 
we are not creating a communi community of the separate. I am separate, but I feel in an inexplicable was as part of your imagination. Janusz Łastowiecki Poland